Hi everyone, my name is Catherine. Um, I am an engineer. Um, I graduated from Embry-Riddle in 2020 with a degree in aerospace engineering. Um, so basically, I really enjoy working with rocket ships. Um, but today, we are going to be talking about hydrodynamics, um, which mostly involves boats. So I have a couple boats to show you here today, but just a quick overview. Um, hydrodynamics is how things move through the water. So if boats are very hydrodynamic, they move through the water very well. If they are not very hydrodynamic, that means that they don't move through the water very well. So a good way to kind of experiment with this is next time you're in the car, stick your hand out of the window. Um, if you keep your hand facing upwards into the wind, um, you can tell that the air does not want to flow around your hand. So it's kind of your hand can't move around very easily but if you turn your hand sideways into the wind it's a lot easier to move your hand um, change directions that kind of thing so that's a really good example of how hydrodynamics works it's not water but it's a really good way to kind of visualize so first i'm going to tell you about a little bit about cargo boats so cargo boats and or cargo ships themselves are not very hydrodynamic they are very flat and their noses are very blunt However, they are not built for speed. They are meant to carry thousands and thousands of tons of cargo across the ocean. So they want something that's gonna be a little bigger and a little more stable to keep all that stuff in. So if you look, you can see here that the bottom is very flat and that the back is also very flat. So it's not gonna be moving anywhere very quickly. But if we look at something like this, like an airboat, um, the bottom is still pretty flat but um, it's very light, it's made out of a very, very light material and it sits up on the water so it can move very, very quickly because of this big fan on the back. So it can actually go off water and onto grasses, marsh, um, ice, and can move very quickly. Speed boats, however, if you can see, they have that very pointed front end so they are very good at cutting through the water they are very good at making the water flow around them so they can move very very fast and turn direction very quickly hi campers as a marine biologist this type of hydrodynamic information that engineers are using to create these boats is actually really good and can be learned from these marine animals we actually have different type of marine animal body types that will cut through the water very smooth so the first example I'm going to show you is a shark. That's a stingray. <laughs> a shark. So the shark has a, what we call a fusiform body. It's kind of like that speedboat. It has a torpedo-like body shape. This allows it to move through the water with as little drag as possible. This means as it's going through the water, it's using the least amount of energy possible. We can look at another animal, the stingray. And the stingray has a type of body type that's called uh, depressiform. Depressiform is whenever the body is flat and the mouth is underneath. So we have depressiform animals like stingrays, manta rays, things like that, where they can, they can swoop, go through the water with these beautiful wings. They're not really using it so much for speed and duration and long distances like our sharks would, but they can get up and go and cut through their water very well. You can also see that there is a torpedo-like shape, but they wanna stay in the bottom of the water because they are benthic eaters. So they'll eat crabs, they'll eat things that are on the bottom of the ocean. So its purpose is to be eating the things on the bottom and staying on the bottom of the ocean. So not quite as those long distance swimmers as our sharks. The last one is our eel. <laughs> so eels actually have a body type called anguilliform. So um, the eel has a very elongated body and it allows them to be ambush predators. They'll stay inside of their cove and wait until a fish will swim and then go and eat them. They have a kind of an undulating motion. Uh, we call it an undulate whenever you, if you kind of can do the wave with your arms or the wave on the ground and you can break dance like that. That's how the eels are moving. They're undulating these, um, these beautiful um, fin rays that they have. And so as they're swimming in the water, they're not built for speed either. They're built to be able to maneuver through rocks, to be able to ambush their prey and to be able to eat their, eat their prey. <laughs> so uh, those are kind of some ways that we can look at fish and kind of see the engineering behind their body shapes, their, their types um, that we are able to, to see. 
So this is a great way where marine biologists and engineers can get together and understand the way fish move and boats move and make it as efficient as possible. That was the Nailed best high five really ever. Good